Okay, from here, I may need to take out my original backup knot, which I used when I went down to check on my friend in the crevasse. Whether or not you take that out depends on how safe you think the terrain is, how steep it is, how icy it is, and what the likelihood of a crevasse bridge collapse might be. Okay. Still on the prusset. Now finally I'm ready to take out one of the initial backup knots that I put in the system. things up so you can see clearly what's happening here. This is what's called a, a Z pulley or a three to one prussic system to pull someone out. Usually this is enough mechanical advantage if the person you're hauling doesn't have a heavy pack, isn't too heavy themselves, or doesn't have any excess friction. The rope is traveling up from the victim through the tractor prusik that's on the load line, through what's called the ratchet prusik, which is attached to the anchor, also on the load line, through a pulley, back down through either a pulley or a carabiner that's attached to the end of the tractor prusik, back up to my prusik, which I'm going to use as a handle to pull. I find the easiest way to actually pull. to engage my pressic. Ready for a haul? Yeah! Okay, be careful, I might haul you across your butt there. You might want to stand up for this one. And get down on all fours and just crawl up the slope. Because I've used a pressic lunging pulley here, automatically jams and I don't have to tend it. If I didn't have this prusik winding pulley, then I would actually have to haul short distances, two or three feet at a time, and rewind that pulley. Okay, now that that locked off, I can go back down, reposition for another haul. I'll demonstrate one more. happen to be hauling upslope. If I were to pass by these anchors and continue hauling until my tractor prusik jammed into my anchor system here, I could potentially start to have an effect on the integrity of my anchor. So I always want to stop hauling once I reach near my anchor if I happen to be hauling upslope. Thanks very much. If you have any questions, feel free to visit miradventures.com. Thanks very much.